What are you telling the universe or life, if that word sits better with you, that you are ready for? Hi guys, my name is David Turner from A Better Way Coaching and welcome to this video. What are you telling the universe that you're ready for? Now, the purpose of this video is to help you understand or build an awareness around ways that you may be blocking things that you want to come into your life from actually being able to exist in your world. Now, these things could be something like a better income or job, increased health mentally or physically, the relationships that you have, building them stronger, or even attracting one into your life that's the kind of relationship that you want, maybe even with co-workers or your family, or maybe even a skill or ability that you'd like to develop, or just something that you'd like to do that creates some kind of fulfillment in your life. The reason I'm making this video is because at some stage in my life, all of these things have been blocked by a lack of awareness or understanding. If you want these things to come into your life, you have to be able, ready, and willing to embrace the change that that thing is going to bring to your life, which is your lifestyle, what you're spending your time, and what you're prioritizing. For something to come into your world, you have to embrace the changes. That's just how it is. If you want to get fitter, then you have to embrace, you have to say that you're able, willing, and ready to exercise. You have to embrace the changes that that you know, makes to your lifestyle, the way that you're spending your time and what you're prioritizing. If you're not going to be able to prioritize exercising, and you, you're not going to get the fitness. You're telling the universe, no, sorry, what I have right now is more important than what I want. What I'm doing with my time, the way that I'm spending my time is more important than changing it to bring in this thing. Now, a lot of what I've been saying, is, you're probably thinking, yeah, that's kind of just common sense. But what a lot of people don't realize is that the way that they're thinking and feeling creates how they're acting towards this thing that they want to bring into their life. And therefore, it affects the results. Now, when we're talking about thinking, feeling, acting, and results, we're talking about the way that which you are being as a person. Now, the difference between you and someone else is the thoughts that you're thinking, what you're emotionally involved in, what you're feeling, and therefore the way that you're acting as a person. You know, if you want to increase your income, you're gonna to have to think like someone who has an increased income. That's just what happens. If you want to feel more in tune with what it is that you're going after or trying to bring in, you have to create the feeling that it's gonna to come to you. Now, I'm gonna break this down a little bit more by explaining how it happens. If there's something that you want to bring in, let's say it is an increased income. What are you thinking about an increased income? Are your thoughts welcoming? Are they positive? Are they saying, yeah, I think I can do it? Is it doable? That's a, this is key because if your thoughts are saying to you, I'd like a better income, but oh my God, it's going to be so hard. Oh, it's really difficult. What you're saying is, I don't want it. You're saying that your, your thoughts are actually repelling this thing from being able to come in. Now what happens is if you are thinking that way, what ends up happening is that you're thinking it won't work. Then you feel in your body that the situation's hopeless. Like, There's not much I can do. It's not going to work. And that creates you to either procrastinate on the actions that you should be taking or make excuses for why you're not taking those actions. And the result of that is you end up stuck where you are. And the universe can't bring you something when you're in that thinking, feeling, acting, and result phase. Now, when you want to bring something in that you don't have, first of all, you have to think that it's doable. You have to have some good thoughts about this thing. If it's your income, you've got to be thinking, well, that guy is actually not as, you know, I feel like I'm a bit smarter than him. He's doing pretty good. Well, if he can do it, I can do it. That's a positive thought. You know, cross with maybe a little bit of a negative one, but still, it's a positive thought. And when you have positive thoughts and they start to compile, they end up creating the feeling within you. Now, if you've got a whole bunch of positive thoughts around something, you know, you're thinking it's doable, you're thinking it's gonna be fun, you're thinking it's gonna be exciting, what happens is the feeling in your body turns to motivated. You feel motivated, you're like, oh my God, let's do this, I'm excited about this thing. And when you're excited and you're motivated and you've got that feeling in your body, you end up having the action of being very productive. You end up moving towards it. As soon as you start having those doubts, those worries, those things that come in, those other negative thoughts, suddenly that's where we all get stopped. It's dead in our tracks. And we all know that because it's happened to all of us at some stage. 
you know, we get excited about an idea and we start taking a couple of actions and then suddenly we're like, oh my God, that was hard. Oh my God, what if I can't do this? And what happens is we're repelling the thing from coming to us. We've told ourselves we want it. We told ourselves that it's what we're working towards. But as soon as we start getting involved in those thoughts towards that thing, we stop it from coming. When we're starting to get motivated, when we're really feeling that and we start being productive, we start seeing some progression. That is our result. We start seeing ourselves moving towards this thing that we want. And it really is all about the way that you're being as a person. Now, I'm going to back it up and wrap it around so that we can really tie this in together. A classic example of someone blocking something that they want from coming into their world is buying a lottery ticket and winning. Now, you, where's he going with this? 44% of all lottery winners end up losing their entire fortune. 44%. And do you know why that is? Because they're not saying to their money, I'm able, ready, and willing to receive this into my life. And the way in which they're not doing that is by their lifestyle, the way they're spending their time, and what they're prioritizing. You're saying, oh, they've got the money. Yes, but the problem is they're not changing the way that they're being with money. They're still spending it the same as what they are now, which is, has resulted in them not having money. If you want to accept, let's say in this situation, for them to accept the money and, and go, yeah, I'm going to embrace the change, they're going to have to start having a budget. They're going to have to start seeing a financial planner coming up with some ideas of ways in which they can maintain this money or increase it. That's what I'm talking about by changing your way of being. Just having the thing come to you doesn't mean that it can stay there if you don't leave it room in your world and the way that you're being as a person for it to stay there and exist. Now, there's lots of times where things come into our life, but we're not ready and able and willing to receive it. For instance, if at your job, suddenly there's an opportunity to move up in the company, there's a pr promotion available and you're like, you've been saying, I would like a promotion, but suddenly you realize, oh, there's a bit more work involved than I thought. I might have to stay back a little bit more. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. Those are some negative thoughts that it won't work. It's going to be hard. You're going to repel that job opportunity from coming towards you just because of the way that you're reacting to the opportunity. It's really important that you get this because a lot of people, myself included, are rejecting a lot of amazing things from coming to us because our reaction to the idea of it coming is actually repelling it. Like I said before, the lotto winners, the problem with something coming in is you're still the same person and you have to be able, ready and willing to change for that thing to come in and flourish and grow and become a positive thing in your life. Relationships, people, if you want an amazing partner and you see an amazing partner and you can see like the, the traits that go along with that, but you're saying to yourself, oh, I love this kind of person, but I can't have them because I'm not this. That's how you're thinking about it. If you want an amazing partner to come into your life, you have to think to yourself that you are an amazing partner. You have to feel like you're an amazing partner and act like you're an amazing partner. Because if you're not going to do those things, guess what? That amazing partner that you're trying to attract, even if you get them for a little bit, they're going to see your way of being and they're going to be repulsed. Not repulsed like that, but they're going to be repelled because of the way that you're being. It's really important that you get this because this happens in our life in so many different ways. Just because something is coming towards us doesn't mean that we're going to be able to embrace it into our life. For Like for instance, how many times have you bought a gym membership or ordered some workout gear online or maybe even bought like a self-help book? We've all done it, but we haven't used it. It's come into our life. It's been there, but we've repelled the good that it could possibly give us by not embracing the change that needs to happen. For instance, with a book, you have to embrace the fact that if you want to get self-help from a book, you're going to have to read the book. You're going to have to take part in some of the suggestions that it's going to make. You're going to have to be able, ready, and willing to do that, to embrace the change. If you buy some workout gear and you just leave it in the box, even though it's there, the good that it's available to you from that equipment, it's not going to come into your life in any way, shape, or form because you're not using it. And it's really important that you guys get this because we are blocking so many different things that we want. There's a quote that I absolutely love and it goes along the lines of this. To have the things that you've never had first, you must do things that you've never done. 
And this is where it, I'm going to be able to give you some tools and tips to actually bring things into your life that you want. Because if you're not ready to change and do some things that you've never done before, you're actually repelling the things that you want from coming into your life. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again, you're going to get the same results. Like Einstein said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Able, ready, willing to embrace the change to your lifestyle, spending time and prioritizing. So let's go through some ways in which you can utilize this information that I've just given you to bring something in that you want. Okay, so step one is to decide on what it is that you want to allow into your life. Sounds simple, but a lot of people decide that they're going to go after so many different things that the universe doesn't know what to send them. And they don't stay consistent in it long enough for it to actually come into their life. So it has to be something that you can say to the universe, I'm going to be working on this. I'm going to put in effort towards it and change my way of being for the next few months to actually give it a chance to bring it to you. There's a law of the universe called the law of gender, which means everything has a gestation period from when you plant the seed to when it comes to fruition. So let's say at work, there's a guy who's been mean to you for two years. Then one day he's nice to you. You don't suddenly just react to him like he's a nice guy. If he does it for a consistently over a period of time though, suddenly you start reacting to him in a different way. And that's the same way that the universe reacts to you. When you change, it doesn't respond to it straight away. When you've been doing it consistently for a while, that's when things start to happen and things start to come into your life. Step two in the process is to write down all the reasons why you want to allow this thing to come into your life. Why do you want to attract it? How's it going to benefit you? How's it going to benefit the people that you care about? The people that maybe you're serving? It needs to be very clear all the reasons why you're doing this. Now, the reason it's amazing to write down maybe 20, maybe 30 reasons why you want this thing is because it gets all the thinking involved. So suddenly you start realizing, oh my God, how amazing would this thing be? I'd get this, 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 this. My partner would, you know, it would help her life. It would help his life. My family would benefit. And you just start to see all the good that would come from you allowing this thing in. What that does is it creates the feeling of being motivated towards this thing. When you suddenly are very confident and very determined on your why, you get motivated and it gets you moving. So that's a very important step, knowing why you want to allow this thing in. Step three is how are you going to show the universe that you are ready to allow this thing into your life? What actions are you going to take that say, hey, I'm ready for this thing. I'm consistently doing this thing. I'm ready for it. Now, that may sound a little bit strange, you know, how you're going to show the universe. But if it's to do with your income or, you know, a job or something like that, or your money, your finances, step one could be writing a budget, showing the universe, yeah, I care about money. I want to save money. I want to have more money around me in a relationship if you're not in a relationship and you would like to like allow one into your life it could be wednesday night yep i'm gonna have date night by myself until someone can come in that might 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 be the night that you go out to a bar and you try and look for people it could be a night where you go on internet you spend the night on internet dating but you're giving it energy with those thoughts and those feelings and those actions towards that thing whatever it is so how are you going to show the universe that you're ready for this thing, that you want it, that it's that you're going to put your hand up and say, here I am, give it to me. So I kind of want to give you guys a bit of a recap just so that you can kick the information that's key on this in the front of your mind right now. If you want to allow something new to come into your world that you don't currently have, that you want, you have to embrace the change. Remember, changes to your lifestyle, the way you're spending your time, and what you're prioritizing. It's the only way to allow something new in is to change. Now, the way that you're gonna change is by thinking differently. And that's why I've given you those exercises. When you change the way that you think, that creates feelings in your body. When you feel differently, you act differently. And that's how you get in sync with the thing it is that you want. So think about the thing that you want as much as you can, but think good thoughts about it. Think positive, doable, motivated, productive, progression. When you're thinking bad, it won't work, you become hopeless, you procrastinate, come up with excuses, and then you end up being stuck. It's really simple and it's also very complicated at the same time. 
if there's really something that you want to bring into your world that you don't currently have, I've just given you some really key steps. If you really want to do this and bring something in, follow them and you'll be so much closer to where you want to be. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you got something out of it. I'm David Turner from A Better Way Coaching. See ya.